Hey, what's up you guys? Today we're going to be crystallizing some bugs. So today we're not doing borax crystals. We're actually using something called mono ammonium phosphate, which is a stronger, more durable crystal. It's actually a fertilizer. Just remember when you are touching it that it can be a skin and eye irritant. So just make sure you're wearing gloves if you have really sensitive skin or if you're afraid that you might have some reaction to it. I have crystallized a couple skulls beforehand, so yes, this does work on bones as well. You can buy this powder off of Amazon. It's about $30, so it is a little bit more expensive than borax, but let me tell you, the crystals look so nice. All right, let's head down to the kitchen, and I'm gonna show you what you need to get started. So what you're gonna need is your mono ammonium phosphate, fishing line, some of your specimens, a dowel and or spoon, a tablespoon to measure out your powder, and a jar to let your specimens crystallize in. So for the measurements, I did two cups of boiling water and 10 tablespoons of mono ammonium phosphate per cup. So there's 20 tablespoons of mono ammonium phosphate in this. Just remember the more saturated your crystal solution is the better and make sure that you stir this stuff very well until the water is almost clear. Okay so this is the part where we're going to carefully remove our bug from the plastic. So when you order dried bugs online, they usually come in something just like this. So I am using an X-Acto knife to cut the plastic off. Just be careful that you do not break off any feet or antennas. I have broken off a lot of pieces of bug in my life and it's sort of annoying. So just remember to handle them with care. So for the next part, we are going to tie some fishing line to our bug. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a loop out of the fishing line and put a couple knots in it. But I'm not going to pull the knots tight until I put that loop around the bug. Once that loop is around the bug, I'm going to pull the line tight and very carefully to make sure that I get it around the middle of the bug and I do not want to break off any legs or antennas in this process. So what I'm doing here is I'm just seeing how much fishing line I'm going to need to tie off to my dowel. So you want to make sure that your bug does not sit at the bottom because the crystals will also form at the bottom and it'll fuse your bug to the bottom of the jar. So. Make sure it stays in the middle and this guy will float at first, but once the crystals start growing on him, he will start to sink. So just make sure that you are watching how long your bug stays in the water because the crystals actually can grow pretty fast. And here is the final result of my bug. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out and let it dry on a paper towel. I'm gonna let the bug sit for about a week and make sure it's nice and dry. Then after it is dry, I'm gonna spray it with a sealant just to keep the crystals protected. All right, so that's how we crystallize bugs with mono ammonium phosphate. Here is the little guy. Oh, there he is. He's not a little guy, he's a big guy. Let's see if we'll focus. Boop, there we go. Look at him, he's so pretty. Now these crystals can overtake them very easily, so you gotta be careful and just kind of watch what you're doing. There he is. I'll frame him and he will be beautiful. If any of you guys try this, please show me. I love seeing the stuff you guys do, it makes me so happy. You can send me things through my Instagram DMs 
or you can try and message me through TikTok. I did leave some links to my socials down below, so if you would like to go and follow those, that would be awesome. I also made merch, have the link down to that below. They're pretty cool, I'd check them out if I were you. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to answer your questions for you. Alright, until next time, bye!